Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar, the Marian Fathers, and as we approach Christmas, we want to share with you a couple fun stories and legends that in our Catholic faith and tradition tell us how we develop this season and how we celebrate it today. For instance, we all know the story of Joseph and Mary when they had to flee to Egypt because Herod was given the orders to kill all the young boy children who he feared would be the king. Now, the legend says that as Joseph and Mary headed to Egypt with the baby Jesus child, they stopped along the way to rest overnight and they stayed in a cave. Now, while they were in that cave, it got very cold and there was a spider. And a spider decided to spin the web over the door of the cave to keep the cold air from blowing in, to keep the baby child Jesus warm and the Holy Family together. Now, I used to tell this story all the time, and now I find out there's even books written about it. So uh, the story is rich. Now, what happened was the soldiers that were coming and looking for young male children, unfortunately told by Herod to kill, they passed by the cave. And when they got to the cave, the soldiers were going to go in to see if there were any people or young boys that they were going to kill. But when they saw the spider web across the door, the one soldier said to the other, don't bother going in there. There's been nobody in that cave for a long time. Look at the cobwebs. And so this is the tradition that we have now today of tinsel. So as you can see, the tinsel that we celebrate on the tree as we hang it is tradition from that spider web. And you know, the Christmas tree itself has a story rooted in our traditions. You know, the Catholic faith came to Germany back in the eighth century with a saint from England actually named Saint Boniface. Now he came to Germany and it was there that he witnessed several people who were worshiping the tree, the tree of uh, Thor. And this was a big oak tree. And he decided to prove that there was no God called Thor and this sacred tree was vincible, not invincible. He chops it down. And to the horror of many of the people, nothing happened to him. So as they called upon the God of Thor to destroy him, nothing happened. So what happened, St. Boniface taught the people there is no God named Thor. There's only one true God, Jesus Christ. And in it, he said, we represent him with something different. Not this, this oak tree, but he pointed to an evergreen. Now, why is a tree evergreen? The Christmas tree is evergreen because it doesn't die. It stays evergreen. And we also have in the tradition that there were places on the tree that they would hang lights. These were actually candles. We hang lights, but the candles were hung on the tree for flames. Christ was the light of the world. Then they also hung little wafers from the tree that represented the Eucharist. And so as they became Christians, these ornaments from the tree were circular wafers. Well, over time they became cookies and then they became Christmas ornaments. As you can see, we have one of St. Faustina here with Jesus. By the way, you can get these Christmas bulbs. We have tons of them on shopmercy.org. But anyway, this has become secular in a way, but it shouldn't because the tradition comes from the tree that was representing the tree of life in the garden of Adam and Eve. This is a powerful tradition, and now we see the meaning of the Christmas tree. Also too, you might be celebrating your Christmas parties there in your offices. This is the honest truth. We had our Christmas party, and as we did our Secret Santa, uh, get in here, Secret Santa. This ho, is ho, ho. Secret Santa, ho, 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 cameraman ho, ho. Giuseppe, ho, ho, ho. and this is absolutely true. I am not making this up. I drew uh, my secret Santa, and I actually could not believe, neither could the staff, could you, we could focus a close up here. This was the gift I drew, the socks of cameraman Giuseppe. Ho, ho, ho. So. Careful, <laughs> Dale. Oh, yeah. Paper You've got yeah. to be kidding. What is that? Giuseppe socks. <laughs> Look what I drew for Secret Santa.
We hope you too have a wonderful Christmas. It's coming up. We got more great stuff on Christmas to come. Stay with us. But in the meantime, may Almighty God bless you and yours, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ho, ho, ho.